Dear brothers and sisters, today's word that the Lord is giving us is from Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. We all know this word very well. The Lord is giving this word once again, reminding us and speaking to us. The word of God says, For surely I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans for your welfare and not for harm. To give you a future with hope for surely I know the plans I have for you says the Lord plans for your welfare and not for harm to give you a future with hope my dear brothers and sisters this plan of the Lord is for the children of God hallelujah praise the Lord it is not for visitors it is not for guests when our connection with the Lord is not right Many a times we are deviated from the plan of God. Litra masu krohonda. Please listen carefully as the Lord is speaking uh, to each and every one of us today. Let us yield to the voice of God. The plans of the Lord. God has the best plans for each and every one of us. God wants to lift us. He wants to honor us. He wants to bless us. He wants to make us fruitful. He wants us to prosper. He wants us to walk in that abundance. This is God's plan for each and every one of us. But this plan stands only for the children of God. It doesn't stand for visitors who just come and visit God and go for their need. Or it doesn't stand for guests. Uh, you know who just come once in a while it stands for the children of god who are the children of god people who walk in the way of god people who are connected to god every day people who hold on to the lord who wait upon the lord who are led by the spirit of god hallelujah the word of god is very clear the word of god says that those who are led by the spirit of god are the children of god hallelujah praise the lord so only when you are led by the spirit of god not led by people around you a uh, verse uh, 9 8 and 9 and all the word of god speaks about uh, different kinds of deceptions it speaks about different kinds of report uh, that different people will come to give hallelujah so there might be uh, different ways in your life that people are trying to direct you maybe they are trying to give you something and say this is the best Maybe they are trying to bring something to you and convince you that this is good for you. This is good for your future. This is, you know, this is best for you. Maybe they are even taking the name of God and telling this to you. But I want to tell you, trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord has a plan for you. The Lord has the best in store for you. When God says he has the best, that best stays the best until the end. It is not that initially it will look good. See, when you see something or when you uh, come across something, uh, usually, initially it will look good. Initially, it looks like everything is fine. Initially, it looks like it is a blessing. But later, once you get into it, it turns out to be a disaster. And God doesn't bless his people like this. It is the people around you who can deceive you with something like this. So if you are not connected to God, if you are not building yourself in prayer, in fellowship with the Lord, there are many people, your own family members or your own people will come. Their intention is not that you have to be destroyed. Their intention is that you have to be blessed. But because they too cannot hear God, they will come and suggest telling this is good and that is good. But the right thing, whatever is the plan of God will be established in your life only by your connection with God so come what may please don't disconnect yourself from the Lord please don't disconnect yourself from prayer after the word after this word where the Lord says I have planned for you my plan is to give you a future with hope this is God's plan for you then the word of God says call upon me come and pray to me I will hear you hallelujah when you search me you will find me when you seek me with all your heart i will let you find me says the lord and i will restore your fortunes and gather you from the nations and all the places that i have driven you hallelujah i will bring you back to the place from which i sent you into exile hallelujah so this is the blessing of the lord this is the promise of the lord no matter where you are stuck up in your life right now you may be confused about your future you may be stuck somewhere in some particular area of your life it could be in your marriage it could be in your job in your health in your uh, relationship 
maybe you are stuck up somewhere without direction without knowing what to do i want to tell you the lord has a plan for you don't yield to the plan of people around you don't listen to the plan of people around you don't dance according to what they have kept for you you seek the lord you connect to the lord even if something is going wrong the long the lord will set it right for you the lord will bring you back from that exile the lord will restore everything to you the lord will set right your life and this setting right will happen when you seek the lord with all your heart what does it mean to seek the lord with all your heart when your focus on the lord is undivided it should not be divided by your job it should not be divided by the pressure around when you make this effort see it is not easy to connect to the lord and have that fellowship you know why because satan knows that you know when your fellowship with the lord is set right he knows that you will be blessed he knows that you will become a treasure to the kingdom of god he knows that you know he cannot disturb you as he has planned hallelujah that is why satan will do all kinds of dance and all kinds of dramas to b- break that fellowship with the lord for you to speak to people is easy for you to spend time watching tv is easy for you to just sit around waste time is easy but for you to sit in the presence of god and pray is difficult because there are powers that do- doesn't want you to connect to the lord but you have to break all of it you have to you know uh, take the help of the holy spirit break all that all that blocks uh, and search for the lord search for the lord i tell you those who have searched for the lord those who have trusted in the lord have never been put to shame so don't sit in your place don't sit in your comfort zone and expect god to come suddenly appear and do a miracle for you it doesn't happen that way it is not that easy not because the lord is not ready no it is because the place that you are in is bound by many things uh, and there are so many forces that hinders your pr- hinders you, your blessings it hinders your future it hinders many things and because uh, of those hindrances though the lord has kept something best, for you it cannot reach you and for that blessing to reach you you have to bend down your knees you have to go in search of god you have to give your time undivided your focus undivided you seek the lord don't seek the advice of people around you seek the lord the lord will speak to you the lord will guide you whatever is right for you it will stand whatever is wrong it will depart so you hold on to the lord you say lord i believe you have a plan for me let your plans be established anything that is not your plan for me let it be cancelled from my life let it be removed from my life in jesus name make this prayer and make a decision not to break your fellowship with the lord please seek the lord please hold on to him don't break your relationship with the lord no matter how busy you are no matter how you are working how you know tired you are no matter what is your schedule whatever is your uh, you know uh, uh, your program from morning till night no matter how busy you are what you are doing don't break your fellowship with the lord prioritize that the other work will happen by itself but you know you seek the lord first spend that time separate that time to be in god's presence separate that time no matter how difficult it is you take the effort to sit in god's presence that is the priority don't say i don't have time to pray make time prayer should be the first thing whether you're eating or not whether you're sleeping or not whether you're taking shower or not prayer should be your first priority pray bend down your knees in god's presence sit and connect yourself to the lord and you see how beautifully everything else will be taken care of in your life the more you're running to set right other things the more everything will go into destruction so you come in search of the lord bend down sit in the presence of god search the lord with all your heart and you will find him you will receive an answer your life will be restored your future will be blessed lathiro sonkras mere tehin saprahada as you are here make this commitment leesh lathura basihi commit yourself say lord i'm sorry for all those time that i've ran away from your presence for all those time that i haven't connected myself to you i repent in your presence 
for those times that i did not pray i did not come in search of you for those times that i've got carried away by things around me by advices around me by people around me i repent in your presence for it today i'm coming back to you lord lord i commit myself to fellowship with you a lord i commit myself to be faithful in your presence i love you lord lord i pray help me holy spirit of god you help me give me the grace that i may sit in prayer every day that i may sit and fellowship with the lord that i may know the lord more that i may pray that i may spend time in the presence of god that i may hear the word of god that i may build myself lord give me the grace lord give me the grace whatever that is good for me let it stay in my life whatever that is not your plan let it be removed lord i'll surrender my life to you you take over lord you lead me you guide me you bless me you establish your plan in my life i pray lord may your blessing rest upon me may your guidance be upon me the future with hope that you have planned and promised for me let it come to pass in my life i pray in jesus mighty name tasun tro open pray de bahasa as you have made this prayer just believe and trust in the lord don't run away from god's presence no matter how busy or whatever you're doing come to the presence of god be in connection with the lord be led by the spirit not led by people around you you choose to be led the lord will lead you hallelujah trasat remain ekhloda no matter what be the damages that has happened in your life don't worry about it the lord is a restorer he will restore there is no problem that he cannot fix there is no problem that is that big that he cannot bring a solution to for you it might look like a big thing for you you might marry how worry as in how this will be solved how will i come out of it it is your problem but for god you know he will do it very easily so don't keep it with you bring it to the lord allow the lord to work you just sit just chill just sit and just allow the lord just connect to the lord just love the lord just worship him just build your fellowship with him that's all just do that and you see how the lord will fight your battle how the lord will bring the right blessing into your life how the lord will remove everything that is a deception that is not a blessing for you trabasi trona impradugo songless perite he bhai those of you who are running here and there for direction because you don't know what to do run to the lord i tell you in my experience it is not about you running and seeking this person and that person for advice when you seek the lord when you run to the lord the lord will find ways to come and speak to you hallelujah it is your effort uh, when i'm telling you this please listen to it carefully it is not about you going here and there it is not about you being desperate for an answer it is not about you know whomever you approach for an answer it is not them it is the lord you run to the lord the lord will find ways to come and speak to you the lord will find ways to come and answer you this has happened to me it happens to any one who seeks the lord in truth so you just seek the lord the answer will come to you krita laba sthandra basna sihitai surely i know the plans i have for you says the lord plans for your welfare and not for harm to give you a future with hope for surely i have a plan for you to give you a future with hope tiri slathora matika santale heba let us receive this word let us meditate on this let us start declaring it in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ i declare surely the lord knows the plans that he have for me for surely my god has great plans for me i declare it in jesus mighty name my god has great plans for me and all his plans are for my welfare it is not for my harm the plans of the lord for me is to give me a future with hope i declare it in the name of jesus christ my god has the best plan in store for me he has the best things that he has planned for me and i receive all of those blessings that he has kept 
for me in the name of jesus christ i do not rely on the advice of people around me i do not rely on the plans that people have for me i rely on my god i allow god to take over to be the master of my life my life it doesn't belong to me anymore my life belongs to christ my life belongs to jesus christ my life belongs to the lord i surrender my life to him and the plan that he has for me i receive it in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i declare my god has the best plan for me and i align myself to god's plan all of god's plan will be established in my life i declare it in jesus mighty name the plans of people around me will not work for me the plans of whoever is trying to advise me it will not work for me the plan of the lord alone will be established my god has the best plan for me he has a future with hope that he is preparing that he has prepared for me and i receive that future with hope in the name of jesus christ the best plan the plan that god has for me is for my welfare and i receive that blessing i receive that plan for my life in the name of jesus christ i will not be deceived i will not be distracted i will not be deviated from what the lord has kept for me i am the child of god i connect to the lord i am led by the holy spirit i will not be deviated from my blessing i will not be distracted from my blessing whatever that seems to be good in the sight of people may be bad in the sight of god right now in the name of jesus christ anything that is not coming from the lord i reject it from my life in jesus name anything that is not coming from the lord i reject it i reject it in the name of jesus christ i prepare myself and i receive what the lord has kept in store for me in jesus name whatever the lord has kept in store for me i receive it in the name of jesus christ the plan or the plan of welfare that the lord has kept for me the blessing that the lord has kept for me the marriage that the lord has kept for me the job that the lord has kept for me the children that the lord has kept for me the relationship that the lord has kept for me the financial breakthrough the deliverance that the lord has kept for me i receive it in jesus name i declare i receive it i receive it i receive it in the name of jesus christ e da bara satru bali himra diga stora honda whatever be the plan that i have that the lord has for me i cooperate with the lord and his plans will be established in my life in jesus name i declare i cooperate with the lord i yield to the voice of god and i allow his plans to be established in my life my life doesn't belong to me i surrender my life to the hands of the lord his plans will be established his blessings will come to pass in my life i declare it in jesus mighty name i do not run for the advice of people i do not uh, wait for the plan of people i have surrendered my life to jesus christ uh, he will lead me to green pastures he will lead me into my blessing he will lead me into my breakthrough he will lead me into the right blessing that he has kept for me i declare it in jesus mighty name trasa tarabenda agradimo sondro barti i call upon the lord i go to the presence of god i connect to the lord i bend my knees in the presence of god come what may whatever be my schedule whatever be my program i seek the lord i prioritize spending time in god's presence i seek the lord i run to the presence of god i run to fellowship with the lord i run to i i run to connect to the lord and when i call upon the lord the lord will hear me according to his word when i search for him i will find him when i search for him with all my heart uh, my god will let me find him i declare it in jesus mighty name my god is my restorer he will restore my fortunes he will restore my future he will restore everything that is damaged in my life everything that is stolen everything that is distracted everything that is broken my god will restore 
restore it for me i declare it in jesus name my god will restore my future my god will restore my blessing my god will restore my marriage my god will restore my job my god will restore my finances my god will restore for me i declare it in jesus mighty name the blessing that the lord has kept for me i receive it i receive it i receive it in the name of jesus christ all the plans of the enemy i nullify it in jesus name anything that is not good for me anything that is brought by the enemy into my life i rebuke it i reject it i command it out of my life in jesus name anything that is deceiving to me anything that is not good to me anything that is not good to my future that is seen in my life i reject it right now in the name of jesus christ i reject it i reject it in jesus name i receive only what the lord has kept for me I declare it in Jesus mighty name Tipa rasu tara kana sima ha alib nadi sundra abra dikasto traba siande it is not the plans of people around me that will be established in my life it is only the plan of my god that will be established in my life I declare it in Jesus mighty name whatever people plan against me for my destruction it will not come to pass for me in Jesus name my god has the best plans for me the best plans for my future i receive it and i declare that the plans of the lord alone will be established in my life in jesus mighty name the plans of the lord will be established in my life i will be in the right place at the right time i will do the right things at the right time the right blessings will come in search of me at the right time i declare it in jesus name all kinds of delay all kinds kinds of stagnancy all kinds of limitation i rebuke it i command it out of my life in jesus name i am called to be blessed i am called to be a blessing i will be blessed i will be a blessing i declare it in jesus mighty name nothing can go wrong in my life my life is in the hands of god and he will shape my life he will bless me nothing can go wrong in my life i am blessed beyond measure i am blessed by the love of god i am blessed by the plans of god i am blessed lathara basi ko roton toloho si mas me hindra nothing can go wrong in my life i declare it in jesus mighty name i am directed by the holy spirit of god to take the right decision to do the right thing i declare it in jesus mighty name tribala sandaragdari ka spontro untra mihin brahadi for the lord has plans for me plans for my welfare and not for harm plans to give me a future with hope and i receive all these plans of god i receive all these blessings of god in jesus mighty name it shall be established in my life in the name of jesus christ all the plans that the lord has for me shall be established in my life i declare it in jesus name all the plans that the lord has for me shall be established in my life i declare it in jesus name all the plans my god has for me it shall be established in my life i declare it in jesus name i declare it in jesus name i declare it in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ amen 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 hallelujah praise your father thank you lord bless your holy name adore you lord worship you lord glorify your name we praise and thank you for your goodness we praise and thank you for your mercy we praise and thank you father we worship you lord we thank you jesus hallelujah gracious and loving father we praise and thank you lord for all your goodness and your mercy we thank you lord for this wonderful time in your presence we thank you for speaking to us we thank you for encouraging us for uplifting us for strengthening our faith once again we praise and thank you lord for you have the best in store for us we cooperate with you and receive that best from you lord we thank you father that our lives cannot be destroyed we thank you lord that you have placed us in a place of 
blessing we receive it we cooperate with you we thank you father for all your goodness over our lives we love you lord we worship you we adore you lord i pray that your abundant blessings will rest upon all these people bless them abundantly i pray whatever that is your blessing for them may it be released may it be established for them in jesus mighty name let all the plans of the enemy be rejected and be removed from their life in the name of jesus christ may your blessings alone be established may your blessings alone come to pass may your blessings alone uh, lord uh, be operated in their life i pray in jesus mighty name may your blessings alone be established and be manifested in their life i pray in the name of jesus christ bless your people abundantly bless this day for them bless the work of their hands bless all that they do